So I was diagnosed on October 28th of 2015. It was actually my middle son's second birthday. There was a lot of just disbelief at first and then just a lot of feeling afraid really of you know having to do the treatments and how that would impact me and my family. Sarah presented with a triple negative breast cancer and our usual approach here at Living Cancer Institute is to offer patients chemotherapy up front with the goal of shrinking the tumor and then sending her to have it removed. Young one with breast cancer, I think what is foremost in their minds when they're faced with the diagnosis and also understanding that chemotherapy can af affect their reproductive potential is family planning. And I remember when I first met Sarah, it was her husband and her goal to have another child. And then the breast cancer diagnosis occurred, so obviously that goal of having a third child was um, you know, put on hold. Sarah was referred directly from LCI. We have a program here in reproductive endocrinology called the REHOPE program. As soon as individuals are diagnosed with cancer that will require any type of treatment that can affect their future reproductive health and fertility, they are referred here immediately. And that was the first step that was taken with Sarah's care in terms of as soon as she was diagnosed with her breast cancer and was discussing the next steps regarding chemotherapy, she was referred here and she came in for a counseling session with me. Once I finished treatment and things were somewhat returning to normal, we started to have the talks of, you know, do we want to try for a third? We sought out some help through the Women's Institute with Dr. Usadi. She gave us some insight as to our fertility situation and some of the barriers and situations we had came across. We fast track patients in, they get in quickly. There is a direct line of communication so that we don't delay any treatments. We had some um, bumps in the road going through that. And so we actually came to a place where we were at peace with having two. And then about two months later, Surprise, I was pregnant. Given what we know about what chemotherapy can do to the you know, reproductive potential of young women, I think it's rare to see patients conceive after undergoing the treatments, and so it's wonderful to experience that with them. Today's great. We have our three amazing kids, and they keep us very, very busy, but we love it because every day we get to live and be normal, and. It's definitely the life that I dreamed about having, so I'm so blessed, and I just hope to be able to support and help others that maybe have to face something similar in the future.